I will tell you, our problems are very tough, but so am I. The most expensive non-presidential campaign in U.S. history is almost over. Despite spending more than $140 million of her own money, Republican Meg Whitman trails Democrat Jerry Brown in recent polls in the California governor's race. But the former eBay CEO did pick up a key last-minute endorsement from another politician with a successful business background, New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg. The reality is that a smart, talented manager who has thrived in the private sector can definitely succeed in government, and I think that's exactly what government needs. We got a real clear contrast. Meanwhile, Brown, the former governor and current attorney general, got a campaign boost from a former political rival, former President Bill Clinton. Everybody that's running for something has achieved something in life. The question is, who's more likely to give the same chance to everybody else? Whitman lost some steam after her former housekeeper came forward, claiming her boss employed her for nine years knowing she was an illegal immigrant. Whitman was also booed at a recent women's conference after declining a deal with Brown to pull negative ads. So here's what, what I'll do. I will um, take down any ads that could even be remarkable, even remotely be construed as a personal attack. But I don't think we can take down the ads that talk about where Governor Brown stands on the issues. I just think it's not the right thing to do. During the contentious campaign, Brown was labeled a career politician. But the 72-year-old says his age and experience are actually advantages. At this stage of my life, I, I have the, 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 the space, as it were, the opportunity to really be straight with people. I have nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Uh, I'm here uh, saying I, I, I understand it as well, if not better than anybody else, and I'm going to give it all I have. Political scientists say some of Whitman's campaign strategies may not have worked. She's running as the underdog, um, and they're trying to paint him as a big government, typical old-style liberal Democrat. Um, it's hard to capture Jerry Brown that way. He is unusual. The latest poll by the Los Angeles Times has Brown ahead by 13 points. Haven Daily, The Associated Press.